Hey guys, welcome to today's video. You are all in for a treat because I have found new things at the drugstore under $5 that you will be absolutely impressed with. I know I am loving everything in front of me. I'm wearing a lot of it. We're gonna swatch, we're gonna play. We're gonna just fall in love with all of these items that are under five bucks. No one's gonna go broke here. And I love finding new things that actually work and compete with my higher end items that I can kind of throw into the mix and play and just not feel that overwhelming commitment. Back when I had a much tighter budget, I would always want to try new things color wise, but often felt like I couldn't because I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a new MAC lipstick or something like that. And now we have the options at the drugstore of great makeup that's affordable, that you have a little wiggle room with, and you know, you can maybe play a bit more. So the first thing that we're going to chat about is what is on my lips right now. This is from Essence. It is $2.99. It is their matte lipstick. They have eight shades. This was a launch that they had back in October and they are placing it in their permanent collection for spring. So these are here to stay, which is a great thing. This is the matte, matte, matte. So, I mean, they're really like, they're driving that home. It's matte. Uh, it says it three times and it says it just like the boy's name, M-A-T-T, -T, not M-A-T-T-E. They have gorgeous shades. The really interesting thing that I love about this product is that it feels kind of like a chapstick. It kind of feels so lightweight that you don't really feel like you're wearing anything at all. There's no scent, there's no flavor. It just feels light as air, but you do get a lot of color payoff. And you definitely wanna do more than one swipe. I think that's my only criticism is it's not a one swipe and you're done lipstick. You do kind of wanna go back and forth and build up the color. I am wearing the shade number three, Wow Effect. And I feel like this is the easiest lipstick ever. It is not drying, but it is completely matte. They're long wearing in the sense that you have about four or five hours of wear time without anything completely going downhill. So let's take a look at all of the shades. Right here in my hand, I have the shade one. This is Natural Kiss and it's beautiful. Everything just has the same texture. It's very consistent through the entire range. I can't even get over that these are $2.99. I found this display at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know why that's a great place to find new makeup displays, but if you have a Bed Bath Beyond in your neighborhood and they carry makeup, go there to find the new stuff. It's always there. It's the craziest thing to me. So we also have the shade number two. This is really pretty. This is perfect match. And again, you can see how this could be very, very lightweight. Like if you wanted more of a sheer wash of color but you didn't want it to be shiny and you're really into the matte look then this would be a great option but you definitely can build it up as well which i really like shade number four is pink up your life this one is not exactly the shade that i would be rocking on a day-to-day -day basis it's not for me but they do have a nice selection there's so much to choose from here they you know, really hit every color across the board. This red is absolutely stunning. This is the shade Ready or Not. It's one of those in-between shades that looks like it's a blue undertone, but it kind of has an orangey hue in it as well. It's really just an interesting red shade, super flattering, really easy to wear. And the texture of these is what makes it so incredible in my opinion. Now this is a more deep kind of a brick red. This is the shade Kiss Me If You Can right here. And again, it's much more brick orange deep red. I also really love that the tubes of the lipstick themselves kind of coordinate to the color that you're purchasing. It makes it really easy to identify what color you're grabbing for in your lipstick collection. I always love those extra touches like that. This is absolutely terrifying. Why do I choose to wear white shirts whenever I'm playing with like red lipstick? And then I read the comments and you guys are like, I had anxiety watching you. I thought you were gonna ruin your shirt. And trust me, the second I sit down and film, I have the same thoughts in my head. I'm like, take a breath, pay attention, don't wreck your shirt. Okay, so this is number seven. This is the shade Purple Power. And look at that. Is that not better than the $42 lipstick from Orbe as far as like the even tone of it? I gotta say, you know, the drugstore, through my years on YouTube, I have seen them in every avenue of their game get a little more competitive with the quality of product. And I'm just blown away when I find stuff like this that is literally not just under $5, but is $2.99. So this is really pretty as well. Not as smooth as this one. This one on is actually a ton 
tiny bit patchy, so maybe this is the one shade that is not my absolute must-have fave, but if you layer it up, blot your lips a little bit, put on a little more, you can get it to be a very even opaque amount of coverage, and it's a beautiful color. So this is It's a Statement number eight. So you have eight of these to choose from, love them. I was also gonna throw in the mix that I am still super in love with the Catsuit liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild. If you wanna see swatches of those liquid lipsticks, they're $4.99, I will link that video below. You know what, time out. I'm gonna take this off of my hand so I'm not like waving my arm around making everybody anxious. I love this blouse today, by the way. This is Tahari, which is uh, not it's an expensive brand. Nothing that I want to get red lipstick on, but if you're in California, go to Oxnard. They have the best outlet store for Ellie Tahari. Oh my gosh. It's like heaven on earth and everything's like 75% off. And that is where I got this. A lot of you guys are like link products and clothes and this one you can't really purchase online anymore, but you can find it at the outlet mall, which I love finding a good deal. I don't think that will ever change with me. I just kind of get like a rush of satisfaction whenever I find something really great on sale. I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing with me. Here from Wet n Wild, we have this beautiful photo focus powder. Now this is not a bronzer. This is actually a powder for the face. It is said to not have any flashback. They have a huge wide range of colors. The compact itself is super duper flimsy. There's no mirror. I don't like the packaging, but the product itself is stunning and smooth and beautiful. This one I tried on on Friday. I did a what's new at the drugstore haul try on style. So I'll link that video below as well. And it was the first time that I used this and I was so impressed that this has become quickly, you know, it's only been a few days, but an everyday bronzer that I am loving. It gives the most subtle glow. It blends really beautifully. It does not separate or patch off and the texture is just out of this world. I really wanna try the lighter shade I got this specifically to bronze my face, but again, you could use this as your setting powder if you had deeper skin tones and this matched you. But for me and my skin tone, this is the perfect bronzing type of a shade. It has a little bit of a sheen in there, but it's not sparkly. It's just a beautiful, beautiful powder. Again, this is the shade 828C Cocoa and it is $4.99. I have chatted about Makeup Revolution matte blushes in the past, but I picked up a new shade and I am so just into the color and the brightness and the beauty of this shade that I I had to include it in this video. This is the shade New Rules. I just wanna show you how just the littlest dab in here, like if I just go like that, look, are you kidding me? It's like the craziest thing ever. It is so pigmented. And sometimes when you have a very, very pigmented blush, it won't blend well, especially with a formula that is not as expensive. It doesn't have the same ingredients as a higher end blush to kind of smooth things out sometimes and it can be a little bit of a trick, but this blush just smooths out so gorgeously. I'm wearing it right now. It wears a really long time. That intense color hangs out. It stays around. They have different shades that are absolutely beautiful as well, but this is the one that I am super into. I know I've talked a lot recently about that little trick where you put on a more subtle blush kind of everywhere, and then you go right on the apples of the cheeks and kind of boop, Oop, and you kind of put the focus to the center of the face. And I love doing that technique with this particular shade. It's matte, it's gorgeous, it blends well, it wears all day, the color stays, and I just love it. I had wanted to try these when they first launched online and they were sold out. I was gonna do a whole dedicated video and every time I went online, they were just sold out, sold out, sold out. So when I saw these at Target, I got super excited. They only had these two shades. They do carry six shades. This is the Aqua Molten Metal Cream or Cream or Liquid Eyeshadow from e.l.f. This is $4 and these are beautiful. They are so easy. This is the quickest way to get the most like angelic, kind of glowy eyelid look ever. Once they settle, they stay put all day. Like you will continue to see that high shine. They don't manage to be completely crease proof, but they're still really beautiful and almost wet looking, but natural at the same time. So this is something that I really enjoy for the inner corner or just all over the lid. If I'm keeping my look really, really simple, it's fast out the door makeup. You can just pat, 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 and you have something really 
really beautiful and high shine going on the lid without having to spend so much time blending and worrying about things moving and looking patchy. It's just very effortless makeup. And I cannot believe these are $4. I really love the rose gold one. That is what is all over my lid. And then sometimes I will take this one right here, which is light gold and I'll kind of pat it just in the center of the lid for a little extra shine. But these are beautiful and even the packaging is very stunning. You can buy them at Target now. I want more of the colors. If you have tried these, which colors do you love so, so much? Are there kind of bad ones? Because these two are great. Let's all take a moment and just acknowledge the fact that I have now gone several weeks without lashes for the most part. I still love them, do not get me wrong, I love a lot of glam, but being that I have scaled back on the lashes means that I've been trying out a lot of different mascaras and I can actually see which ones are more volumizing, which ones are more lengthening. And I have two here from Essence. This one is the Rockin' Doll Crazy XXXL Volume. This one's a little bit chunky, but if you like a ton of volume, this is a newer one that I wanted to mention that is really nice. It does not smudge everywhere. It really, really builds up. But this one right here, the False Lashes Mascara, this is Dramatic Volume Unlimited. This, I actually disagree with the name of the product. I don't feel that this is super, super volumizing, but if you are looking for length in your lashes, this will make them almost hit your eyebrow. I was putting this on the first time and I was just like, are you kidding me? Like my lashes are just like, like they grew so much. That's how I felt when I applied this. And I was like, you, like this is great. This is a really cool brush. It's very tapered right at the tip, which means you can kind of fluff the individual areas that you want to fluff out and lengthen, same on the lower lash line, and really get that type of a dolly effect with your lashes. I think it's fantastic, it wears well, it doesn't flake, and it's not waterproof, so try not to rub your eyes too much, but so long as you keep that in mind, this is an incredible, affordable, wonderful new mascara. I actually have one more item. I wanted to really like name this five under five, but I have one more item hanging out. So we'll just kind of sneak this little guy in. This is from e.l.f. as well. This is a brush that is crazy affordable and really useful for so many things. This brush I actually use on the inner corner of the eye. I can use it under the brow bone and I can easily smudge the lower lash line. It's really packed, it's very dense, but it has a nice tip. And this just feels like it should be more expensive than it actually is. So whenever I find a brush, especially that I'm reaching for a lot, that's super affordable at the drugstore, I have to let you guys know. So this is like the extra bonus affordable number in today's pile up of products under five. There we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know that you did and you want more of these in the future by giving this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Leave me comments below. I read everything and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.